that's not Psalm 81. Psalm 84. I love this psalm. And it says, How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts! My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cried out for the living God. How about you today? Yea, the sparrow has found a house, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. Even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They will be still praising thee, Selah. Amen. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them who pass into the valley of Baker, make it a well. The rain also fell at the pools. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeared before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, Selah. Behold, O God, our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. Amen. And as I got older, I understood this psalm better. And so I know that I am the sparrow here, yes, and I am the swallow. Amen. Because these birds coming up in this psalm are used in a figure. All right, so David is the sparrow and he's the swallow. And I am the sparrow. I am the swallow, found a nest for myself in the living God. Amen? And I hope today that you will find a nest in Jesus. To, you know, a nest to a place of rest. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And let's turn our Bibles now to um, Psalm 81. Sing aloud unto God our strength, and make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalm and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Right? I told you I don't have a harp, but I have. Amen. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon, in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For well, this was a statute forever and a law of the God of Jacob. This he ordained in Joseph for testimony when he went out to the land of Egypt where I heard a language that I understood not. Yes, I removed his shoulder from the burden. His hands were delivered from the pots. Thou callest in trouble, and I delivered thee. I answered thee in the secret place of thunder. Hallelujah. I proved thee at the waters of Meribah, Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou wilt hark unto me. Thou shalt have no strange God in thee, neither shalt thou worship any strange God. Amen. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would not of me, sadly. Amen. So I gave them up unto their own hearts, lust, and they walked in their own counsels. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. Amen. That's what God said. Oh, that my people, if my people had done what they were supposed to do, I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have endured forever. Uh, he should have fed them with the finest of the wheat, and with honey out of the rock should I have satisfied them. Amen. And, and I hope that as we read this, we see that it, many times we want 
God to do things for us, but God is saying that we should do our part. If that happened unto him, then they would have seen great results. And we're going to take Psalm 16, Psalm 16, and it says, that is that wrong. <laughs> Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord, my goodness extendeth not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent in whom are his delight, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up the names, their names into my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. Amen. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he's at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine only one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the paths of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. And if you know the scripture, this is a prophecy that pertains to the Lord Jesus and um, to his, his death, his resurrection. Amen. And um, I think we're going to sing that song, right? It says in his presence.